Hi guys, hello and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can display multiple variables, how you can declare multiple variables of the same type on the same line. And then we will learn how to display them more efficiently. First, our uh, first approach we're going to be looking at is to display them in the columns so that you can also learn about that. And then we will make some improvements in the next tutorial. So let's get started. So right now I have a single variable ID equals to 3456. I will now declare two IDs, one equal this amount and the other one equals a different value. So basically, in order for you to declare multiple variables of the same data type, you can separate them by comma and then you can keep listing them. You don't have to repeat the data type with each variable. You can comma separate them and you can just put one semicolon towards the end. Now let me quickly add a couple strings, name one and name two, and GPAs. So I have two names and two GPAs. Now I have errors over here because of course I changed the variable names and these don't match. So let me quickly make this ID one, ID is our name as name one and GPA one. And then I'll copy this and paste it right below. And I'll call this one ID two, name two, GPA two. Let's run this. As you can see over here that we have three lines of output that comes due to the first one, first output, and then three lines of output that come from the second output's instruction. What I would like to do next is, I want to drop the slash ends, and I want to display all the values in the same line. This is only the step one. Okay, as you can see that all values are separated by space, but value like John Peterson goes longer than Saad Yusuf. As a result, I have zigzags. So what I would like to do next is I want to display these outputs in columns. So first of all, the zero I have, the first placeholder, I will going to set the size of this column. How do you set the size of columns? You simply put a comma after that, you either enter a negative number or a positive number. If you enter a negative number, that means you want your value to be left aligned. If you enter a positive number, that means you want your value to be right aligned. Followed by the actual number, which means the number of spaces you want to block for this column. So for example, I want my first column to be left aligned with six placeholders. And let me get rid of these titles I have because I don't want these titles. I just want column, the values in columns, okay? And my second column is I want it to be 20 left aligned. And my third column, I want it to be six, but right aligned. That's why I'm using a positive value. Let me copy this and I'll paste it over on the second line. Okay, it's the same format, same column size for each line. And now let's run this. And as you can see, the first column is left aligned. It starts filling up. The first four gets filled up. Then there are two spaces followed by the next column, which is 20 spaces long. So it only fills in the letters that are needed. And then the rest are just spaces. And the last column is right aligned. As you can see, the threes don't align. Rather, the 1 and 9 do. So it's right aligned because of the positive number. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to give a column heading. So the column heading will be the same length as the values so that everything lines up nicely. So I want my first column to be IDs, my second column to be names, and my third column to be GPAs. So I will going to be using that as my column headings. Let's check the output now. And as you can see, this is IDs, this is names, and that's GPAs. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. In the next one, we will explore this a little bit more, and we will learn how you can perform calculations, and then how you can do some conversions. 
So catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.